Hello, underpowered tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play FTL with me, Blue Ankylo. The main problem with today's episode is lack of firepower. We have a nice, it's actually fairly strong until you're out of missiles. <laughs> and then when you're out of missiles, you've got nothing. So that's not good. But anyway, a quick review, recap, suicide stealth, stealth ship type B. It's got loads of system upgrades, really, more than you need, really, uh, as far as I'm concerned, max power and all that. A pretty solid crew, all trained up, except for uh, weapons, I guess. Um, and equipment-wise, well, it would be okay if we had a better weapon or more missiles. Either way, we're kind of short. And I have a feeling if we hit the mothership like this, there's nothing we can do. I'm going to hit this repair because they'll give us some missiles, but those ones are so far away, that's not good either. I, I'm kind of hoping we run into a store, really. Um... We could release some slaves, we could attack them, we could buy a slave. Ah, attack them. Attack them. I need a new weapon, and the best way to get a new weapon is to capture ships. As far as, with, if you can't get a store for sure, capturing ships. I'm gonna waste, do they have a med bay? They have a med bay, but I'm this time... Huh. I'm gonna try to use a bomb on the shields, I think. Well, no, we'll be okay. Med Bay, they won't be able to fight us off this time. This crew does not have a, a terribly difficult party. If I had those missiles for the last ship, this is what I should have done to the Mantis Bomber. Except, no, it wouldn't have worked because they had four Mantis, so never mind that. Um, the only reason this is gonna work is because their crew isn't that tough. Still might be tough enough though, actually. This is gonna be a little bit close. I can't move them, I can't dodge around this time. I have to kill them. Or run home. Uh, Luan, yeah, we got him. Whew, all right, missiles, that's very good. A slave and a ton of scrap. Yeah, that's better than buying one, don't you think? And now I've got a spare mantis, cool. A spare, well, you know, that... <laughs> I'm sure one, my main mantis will never die, her, her. But yeah, we've got some interesting stalemate situations coming up. If I cannot get a new weapon, uh, once I run out of missiles, I'm in big, big trouble. Defensive-wise, the ship is totally good. We can defend against almost anything. Um, offensively, we've got major problems. So let's pick up, uh, at the very least, as much uh, missiles as we can. Four missiles. I... That's not as much as I would like. No stores, so let's head over this way and maybe we'll get really lucky. Ah, uh, nothing important. Okay, I'll take it. A store. Oh, come on, store. This is good. This could be the thing we needed. It's not. Ah, uh, it's not what we needed. I guess I'll buy that, my favorite. It, it helps. <laughs> I can buy two missiles and another mantis. I guess. Then I'll have two defensive mantises. Sure. What else would I spend the money on? Um, the ship? What does the ship need? Um, there's not really a much point putting it in very much. Uh, 57. Let's put it in... Actually, I'll upgrade the teleporters, because what I could do with level 3 teleporters is a double mantis attack. That might work. Alright. So they're going to go that way. Hopefully we can get a little bit more scrap at this fight without you losing any missiles. <laughs> um, four shields. Alright, yes, teleport over. That's good. Actually, probably should have used the other mantis. They're tougher, but these guys, they, they'll try. So, med bays. Hmm. Halberds, burst lasers. I hope we can kill these two guys. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Don't let them teleport. Good. See, if they teleported, this would be much more difficult. But they didn't, so now we're we're laughing. Har har har. Um, now, can I take it over without using a missile? Or should I just use one missile to guarantee? I think one missile to guarantee the med bay's down. Three humans should be nothing after that. I'm glad it didn't miss, because that would have made me sick. It's very sad. Yeah, I think those two guys should easily take out three humans. Mostly easily. And our web, our shield, our ship, you know, they can't hurt our ship. Okay, we got him. Got him. 
And then, yeah, we should be okay. They've got no door control, so I can do a little bit of moving around if I had to. Looks like we're good. Lots of fuel and some scrap. Well, damn. Scrap's good and all, but... Alright, well, teleporters to max. And, uh... Anything else worth it? Sometimes I like to pump spare into engines, just because if, if your power's not doing anything, at least three dodge is better than nothing. So, sure. Because, I mean, how often do I really need everything else powered up? You know, that's my idea. Anyway, um, eight missiles. Not perfect. Uh, this is going to be, this is going to be tough one, guys. But let's fight them. The, the, the systems are falling quickly and I'm not going to likely find anything else. So, here we go. Okay. Um... Like I said, I think defensively we're fine. I've actually got loads of drones, so there's no point not to have the defense drone out. And I will even cloak from the first missile volley just to ensure that we're safe. And then I'll start teleporting over to kill their weapon systems like I usually do. Because I want to save my weapons until I'm ready to board. Because we're going to have to kill them. In fact, I'm going to do this a little bit differently than usual. Um, I'll show you, I'll explain it once I'm ready for it. Uh, there's a couple things to do first. I'm going to, I'm going to approach this battle a little differently than what I normally do. Um, and I, I think you'll understand once it gets going. You might even be able to tell what I'm going to do just by that move there, if you really know FTL well. I'm going to leave you in a little suspense though. Okay, the missile launcher will be down shortly. Good, so I don't have to worry about the defense drone that got shot down when I wasn't looking, which is nice. And I'll get these guys healed. Um, yeah, you might be guessing what I'm going to do. It's not, it's not that big of a mystery, but I've never done it before on camera. I've never done this strategy. All right, so that kills the last weapon. And I'm going to pull these guys home, and then those guys home, and you'll see. Not that this halberd beam, or whatever it's called, I think it's a halberd beam. It's not really enough to cause too much hassle on its own, but um, I'd rather they didn't have it anyway. So now that we're safe, or nearly safe that is, then the grand strategy will, will start. <laughs> Alright, so, I am leaving this weapon system alone. Why am I leaving this weapon system alone? I need that crew member right there to never die. What I'm going to attempt is to kill all their crew on the main ship except him. The, f the trouble with that is they have door control and a super med bay. If, and this is an if, I can bomb this med bay, then my mantis will have free run of the ship. I can kill all of their crew on this first phase, thereby saving me many, many missiles in the future. Does that make sense? I'm gonna have to spend some bombs right now, and if they miss, I'm in big trouble. Double hit, perfect. Now, as fast as you can, Mantis, get over there. And I'm gonna need all my Mantis, that's why I have four, and I have upgraded teleporter, because I don't want the human crew to overwhelm them. Okay, go boys. Now, hopefully that's enough to kill all their crew. Um, even if I lose a couple Mantis, that's okay at this point. Um, I don't have a lot of options here. Yeah, I'm gonna pro- I don't know if I'm gonna be able to kill them all. It's gonna be close. Sorry boys, I could- well, they're cloaked anyway. I'm not gonna risk bringing them back. Um, yeah, they got a couple of them. They got two. Hopefully, shoot that guy. Shoot those guys. Shoot them. Kill them all. Kill them all. Oh, that was close. Okay, we're good. Let's just heal them up. Um, I'm actually don't need to technically, but let's heal them up anyway. That was really close. But the original two, the guys with the uh, uh, upgraded uh, fighting capacity, they won. So, as you can see, the enemy ship has no crew. That went according to plan. I did lose two mantis, but that was acceptable losses for what I had to do. Now, I don't need to use any more missiles. I can send my guys over, disable their shields, and I will do this for every phase of the fight. I'll probably take the missiles out first, but um, this is essentially the same strategy I will use for the next two phases. I'll disable their shields, um, pull them back, and let the glaive kill them. 
So it might not be very uh, extravagant fight or uh, interesting because it's going to be, you know, same thing, very boring. But um, it's safe. <laughs> and I think given my lack of missiles and other weapons, this is the only way to do it. How else could I possibly have uh, um, overall won? I might have had enough missiles to take out their shields the first time around and, you know, glaive them to death. But the second and third, I think I'd be completely out of missiles by then, honestly. So anyway, there you have it. Blue Ankylo's secret strategy. Um, let's see, no shields. Let's actually take out... How many systems can I hit from this side? I, I want their cloak down so they stop. My weapons will charge faster once I take the cloak out. Bam. Yeah, no cloak for you. And I uh, might as well have them destroy that while they're there. I'll pull them back when the glaive's ready. Might as well. Yeah, and with no... Tele with no crew, they won't be boarding us either, so we don't have to worry about that in the future future runs. Alright, boys look good. Glaive's basically ready, and their, their pilot's basically done. So. Oh! Shit! <laughs> uh, Auto-fire, yeah, auto-fire. I was... Look, I have the icon ready to teleport them. Well... Now that buggers it up. Okay, well... I have other crew, so that's... You're just gonna have to not do what you normally do. <laughs> oh, that was stupid. I had everything planned out so well, and then I auto-fired my glaive. Ugh, blue. Blue Ankylo. That was dumb. That was pretty dumb. <laughs> Alright. Um, you're still gonna focus on the missile launcher first, and I'm still gonna actually have the defense drone up, because they're gonna shoot boarding drones, and I need him to shoot those down. Uh, or else... This will take longer than I need. Um, I'm not going to worry about their halberd this time. It'll just take too long. I can cloak. No, i got to save it for the power surge this time. Yeah. Oh, I missed. We got one through. Oh, well, but um, should be okay. You guys finish him if possible. We can actually power, we can power the oxygen up a little bit so that the guys don't suffocate. Hopefully those two can take out one guy, and let's cloak, cloakity cloak! I'll leave my defense drone on a little longer, because they still might have more drones. Yeah, I think our shields are okay. It's a little close. I might actually send my men to uh, take out their drone control first, just so I don't have to take any damage. Other than the crew, I may be able to pull off a flawless, in a sense, victory. Um, flawless you know, I don't know what you want to call it, but I might manage to do this without taking any hull damage, is what I'm thinking. Um, no, I want the oxygen for now. Don't need teleporters. Power surge. Come on, cloak. Come on, cloak. Cloak and cloak. Good. All right, so now let's take out... I think I'll go for their drones first. It doesn't really matter at this point. I think, we're go I think we got them. This time, I promise not to auto-fire. <laughs> now, I could be using... Um, are they shooting? They're not shooting any more of these guys at us, are they? We're good. Let's put it into evasion. Yeah, because we need the evasion for this. Oh! Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Well, that was just bad luck. They fired their, their big laser at the same time as the power surge, and because I didn't disable it, yeah. Oh, well. Um, we're, we're okay. Uh, once their drone systems are down, their weapon power will be significantly decreased. Um, you need to see, close doors and then uh, this way. Yeah, of course. Well, so much for my flawless victory, but I think we'll be okay anyway. It's not like they can repair anything over there. Yeah. Oh, no cloak. Oh, this, this might not be good. Close the doors. Yeah, that, oops. Come on, shields. It's all up to you, shields. Okay, we got that down. All right, well, <laughs> I was hoping this would all go a little bit smoother, but I think we're okay. Uh, I'm a little bit short on crew, yeah. If I, if I had my two mantis, they would attack so much faster that this would be easier. Right, that's dealt with. Let's repair the med bay. Yeah, I think we got him now, but sheesh. 
That was a little bit scary there. When they when they got all those shots through my shield, I was a little bit concerned. I'll be honest, I was a little bit worried that we weren't going to make it. This time again, I can't cloak. Come on. Sometimes, I'm not sure... Oh! It has random timers. Like, it doesn't always fire at the same time. Sometimes, a single cloak will recharge every time between power surges. Sometimes not. And holy smokes! Um... Wow, these are just... Okay, finish that shield off. You guys need to get home because we need repairs. Wow. Um, and Glaive, yeah, you need to take these guys out. Holy smokes. Um, how many systems can I hit? Maybe... I'm not sure where the best aim is here. I guess you can get four fairly easily. No, I don't want to turn the oxygen off. If that guy suffocates, things go poorly. No, let's go for four. I think I can hit four. Yeah. Actually, you know, let's just play it safe. We've got lots of time. Let's hit three, but disable their halberd, because it's... We're taking a lot of damage, more than I thought, honestly. I thought our shields and everything were good. Um, yeah, I can't even cloak again. Wow, it just seems like they're really, really nailing us on the... Uh... Oh, there's, there's, a, there's a breach there. Shields are repaired. Oh, oxygen's out. And that's out. Wow. Door control. Oh, that's just... Okay, we need we need to finish these guys quick. Holy smokes. Uh, I think I can hit four from here, yeah. Okay, they're done. Wow, okay. So much for this being easy. Um, oxygen or door? Which one's more important? Um, there's going to be a fire in door control. But I need the oxygen. Um, you can deal with the fire. You can deal with the oxygen with him. Good luck, guys. Oh, that's a lot of fire. All right, sensors are up, but that doesn't really matter. Wow, yeah, I'm taking way more damage. At least at least my strategy overall is working, but... Um, okay, the oxygen system is repaired. Get the heck out of there before you suffocate. Um... Door control, once we get that, if we get that, um, you know what, I'm going to have you put that fire out and have you repair the drawers. Yeah, this will work. This will work. Now you guys are good. So you can come back. Oxygen is on fire again, but it shouldn't last. Lost our piloting again. Ugh, this is not good. We're taking a lot of damage. Okay, good oxygen. The, the venting is working properly, at least. All right, well, um, okay, things may not be working quite according to plan. To be fair, um, things could have gone better, yes. Um, yeah, I still think my strategy with the Mantis was smart. My biggest mistake was losing those two Mantis in the first fight, because that was silly. The, the, the last two that went down with the ship. That was a big mistake, um, and I, I'll admit it. <laughs> All right, but I think we're okay. Everyone's getting all kinds of skills. Zoltan, I guess the shields are probably the best because if they recharge quicker, recharge quicker, that's probably the smartest thing. All right, well, we're still alive. Let's upgrade the piloting because that will really suck if that goes down. And we're actually not in a very good shape. So, uh, yeah, that. All right, final battle. This is going to be close. This is going to be really close. Super weapons, yeah. So there's no... I wonder if I should use the bomb to help take down their shield just so I can teleport over quickly. Yeah, I've got the bombs saved up. Let's use them. And let's try to hit... I don't know if it actually counts like four, but you know, whatever. One hit, anyway. Um, yeah, I'm going to use the bombs to speed this up, because it's just going to take too long, and I need to get systems down, really. Yeah, and the missile launcher is dangerous. I need to save the cloak, though. Ah! Why? Um, okay, you guys can turn off. You're useless. Um, yeah, the glaive's almost ready. I'll just use that to finish it. This guy's going to die. All right. Cloak time. 
My shields are actually going to take a ton of damage. That sucks. Because of the fire. Um, there's things down. Let's prioritize getting their missiles off. Oh, our shields are just getting trashed. Oh, not good. Um, power that up a little bit extra. Because I want to get him repairing now rather than later. Oh, this might go wrong, guys. This might... Oh, wait, wait. I forgot. We have a system repair drone. <laughs> I forgot. Repair drone. See? Power surge before my thing's ready again. That sucks. Oh, no. If my cloak was ready, we would have been fine. Well, that was close. That was really, really close. Um, type B, I guess, is the one to look at. I, uh, yeah, I've never beaten on normal with that one. This is not my favorite ship. It's very difficult. Um, yeah, that it seems like the timings between the power surges changes, and that time I just got really unlucky, because most of my other playthroughs, I can cloak for every power surge, as long as I use the, the cheap cloak, the five-second one. But uh, today, it did not work. Uh, did not work for me, anyway. So that was, that was edge of the seat. That was so close. Um... But that such is life. We almost got it, but not quite. So hope you've enjoyed. That was that was that was good. That was a good series. So thanks for watching and have a great day.